Good afternoon, and uh, thank you for having me again. And with the privilege of speaking twice, I can go back to a discussion I started yesterday, in which I could not finish, and which I think fits totally to, uh, to this panel. Um, thank you. Um, it is, uh, I would like to go back to the, to this work, to this piece by uh, artist Luo Guibe, which I introduced yesterday in my short presentation about how culture can perform and, uh, and also because I think that uh, the, the conversation around this, uh, this work of art that is going on uh, in Germany currently is uh, very much telling about the threats that are always uh, luring around uh, cultural action, artistic production, and, uh, and more. Uh, so for those of you who are not aware of this piece, this is uh, the obelisk. It's referred to as, uh, as the obelisk. And uh, it's, a, it's a work that, was, that is, was produced last year in the context of Documenta 14 uh, under the artistic direction of uh, Adam Simchik. And it's a work by uh, Nigerian-born and US-based artist Oluo Guibe, which is uh, a work that is, in my opinion, uh, of an immense generosity and uh, a work that really, uh, uh, instead of, you know, uh, using uh, rather unpleasant history and past of, uh, of a city like Castle, it's using its uh, rather positive side as a, as a welcoming city. So I'm talking about this because uh, I think that the, the, the agency and the action of, uh, of, uh, of a public artwork like that is, uh, is usually very much concerned also with the history of the city, with, of course, with the citizens of the city, and public art being placed in a public space. So it's really also under the authority of politicians and, uh, and how politics influence artistic practice and also, I mean, not, in, not so much as in terms of influence, but how politics affect, I must rather say, uh, uh, artistic practice is, uh, is, a, is a concern. And I think that if we are here over the last two days, to discuss what culture can do, I think it is also necessary to really address uh, critical issues that are really pertaining to, uh, uh, to cultural action. So what is going on is that uh, initially this work has been almost unanimously acclaimed and welcome in the city of Kassel. Uh, the artist received the very prestigious Arnold Bode Prize for this work within the edition of the, uh, of the last documenta. And, uh, and, and for some obscure reasons, over the course of between the, insta the opening of Documenta in, uh, uh, in Castle last June to the fall of, uh, of last year, the work and the artist have totally fallen into disgrace of, uh, of, uh, of the city, but I think more of the city officials and the entire kind of debacle that is going on about how Documenta was run, which I strongly believe that hides other, called other political motives, and uh, where uh, the public and, uh, and the city officials and some media, of course, are using the alleged deficit to say that the exhibition was, uh, was uh, unsuccessful and that it is, um, 
a sort of an affront to the city. So the work is a, is a gift to a city that at best in the 1950s was ravaged and which was, in my opinion, saved through culture. Because if Arnold Bode, who initiated the documenta in the mid 50s, did not bring this cultural institution to, to Castle, a small city in the, in the, in the, how do you say, in the center of, uh, of, of Germany may have fallen into insignificant or even anonymity. But through the institution of such a major, of something that became a major, a major point of, uh, of uh, reference in, uh, in artistic practice internationally, uh, culture has helped regenerate and revive the, uh, the, the city. And uh, with, uh, with this work, Oluo Guibe, as an artist, wanted to pay homage to this, to this uh, heritage. He wanted also to pay homage to the heritage of, uh, uh, of Castle as a welcoming city. So the obelisk is, uh, is a sign of, uh, of, uh, of generosity, is a sign of uh, openness to conversation, is a, is a sign of uh, uh, dialogue and uh, it's written in, uh, uh, what is written in, uh, uh, on the obelisk in four languages, in uh, English, German, uh, Arabic, and, uh, and, uh, and Turkish, is, uh, is a quote where, which basically says, as I was a stranger, when I came here, you welcomed me. I'm just putting it in a nutshell. And I think that the conversation that is now going on is whether the, the work should stay there, which is at the major prominent uh, square on Königsplatz in Kassel, or whether it should be taken down and put somewhere in the outskirts. And, and I think the artist is not doesn't agree with uh, with that suggestion. First of all, because the idea of placing this work within the a major square of the city is also to provide it a centrality and uh, and uh, and the presence that is accessible to all by bringing it by by suggesting to place it somewhere else that is, was not part of the artistic narrative of the artist when he was developing the work, is also displacing the discussion to the so-called art skirts, which, as we know, is already organized or already placed in a kind of exclusionary uh, 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 condition, and, and it is bringing it this, uh, decidedly out of the sight of the, of the vast majority. So, it is perhaps uh, uh, a sign, I believe, what is uh, going on worldwide uh, currently when it uh, comes to art. I mean, uh, be it cultural officials, politicians, uh, public, uh, public figures. We all like to say that we like when art is bothering and when art is disturbing and when, uh, when art is provoke. But at the same time, I really believe that when it comes to defending that provocation, when it comes to, to standing for for um, the rights of uh, artworks and artists to really speak to society and to really engage with uh, uh, complex issues and sometimes difficult and uh, on a not agreeable, uncomfortable issues of the society, it becomes something that we leave 
too often in the hands of politicians, and, uh, and I strongly believe that that is wrong. And from what I've known from uh, uh, of what I'm hearing here since yesterday and, uh, and today about, uh, about Martin Roth, I think that this is a debate that he would have engaged in, and I really, really uh, urge everyone who has the power to have an influence on this debate to do so. Thank you.